As a rule, you cannot change elements in a reference model. You can only make changes to the active model. There are two ways to easily switch between the active model and a referenced model. First, you can activate a reference, which temporarily activates a referenced model for in-place editing while the active model and other reference models remain visible. This method is recommended because it allows you to maintain the current view orientation and to snap to elements in the active model. Next, you can exchange to a reference. This closes the current model and opens the selected reference, maintaining the same view orientation. This method may be preferable when you want to focus exclusively on the referenced model. In this lesson, you will learn activate a reference and exchange a reference. Continuing in microstationbasics.dgn in the streets model, First, we'll try the exchange to a reference method. In the References dialog, right-click the Reference Hydrography model in the list and select Exchange in the Context menu. The Hydrography model opens and the Streets model and the Limits model are not displayed anymore. Select the Element Selection tool and expand the tool settings. In the tool settings on the Level tab, select the River Fill Level. The elements on this level are selected and highlighted, and the level is moved to the top of the list. On the Home tab in the Attributes group, set the active color to 111, a dark turquoise color. Click somewhere in the view to clear the selection set. The river fill is now a dark turquoise. To return to the streets model, click the previous model icon at the lower left corner of the application window. The change you made to the reference is seen immediately. Note, this is also the case when a reference is owned and changed by someone else. When a reference is changed while you are using it, you can right-click it and select Reload to update its contents. Let's see what happens when you activate a reference instead of exchanging it. Right-click on the Hydrography model in the References dialog and select Activate in the Context menu. Select Update View if needed. This time, the Hydrography model is opened while the Streets and Limit models remain visible, but are rendered in a grayish color. By the way, you can change the override color as follows. Click the File tab, then on the Backstage, select Settings, User, Preferences, and change the active reference override color in the category Reference. Move the pointer over the elements that are displayed and note that only the elements in the active reference can be selected. The elements in the other models are locked. Let's review the information in the References dialog. Note the dot in the Activate Status column of the Hydrography reference, indicating that this reference is activated. Use the same method described earlier in this exercise to change the color of the elements on the level River Fill to 7. To return to editing the active model, you have to deactivate the reference. 
Right press anywhere on the References dialog and from the Context menu select Deactivate. Alternatively, you can click once on the dot in the References dialog. Select Update View if needed. The street model is active again. The dot is changed back into a check mark. A check mark indicates that the reference is locked for editing in another session. Note, currently the check mark is gray and the reference cannot be unlocked because in this case the reference model is in the same file as the active model. When the reference you activated is in another file and you deactivate it, it remains locked. The reason that deactivating a reference does not automatically release the lock is that once the lock is relinquished, it is not possible to undo changes. Now, imagine if you are actively working on a set of files. As you activate various references, you lock them. You can hold these locks until you decide you are ready to release them or until you close the file. To release the right lock on a deactivated reference, click the black check mark in the Activate Status column. You can also release all of the locks in one action by double-clicking on the Activate Status column. Close the References dialog. Close MicrostationBasics.dgn. In this lesson, you learned how to activate a reference, and exchange a reference. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.